Okay, what we got for you today is a simple preparation of Stanis chloride. We've got 12 grams of tin metal here. And what we're gonna do is dissolve that in some hydrochloric acid. We will put 50 milliliters of this, 31% hydrochloric acid. And it is a very, very slow reaction. A little more than 50 milliliters. And we're gonna turn the heat up on this. Put the watch glass on. You can kind of already start to see a slight reaction taking place. There's a little bit of bubbling going on. But this will take quite a while. And this solution is used to test for precious metals in solution. So we will let this get into a time lapse and dissolve this tin metal here in the speaker with 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. All right, now it's quite a bit later. We had a really big haboob coming in through here, and if you're not familiar with what a haboob is, it's a big sand desert storm. Uh, so now that's cleared up, we've got this back up on the heat. This is our Stanis chloride solution. Now I could use this. This has enough tin dissolved in it uh, to react with any gold present. I'm just gonna keep it cooking for good measure, but we do need some gold solution to test this with to make sure it's actually working properly. So right here in this little vial, original Pater Gold Company. Shout out to anyone who knows what this is in the comments. We have 0.665 grams of gold. Right there, 24 karat. And we're gonna dissolve that with a little bit of hydrochloric acid. And I'm going to go grab a few little drops of nitric and we will get that cooking as well. And once we fully dissolve this gold, I'm going to turn all this off and we'll get caught up with you during the daylight. So I'm going to drop some nitric acid in this beaker right here to dissolve those little gold BBs. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. Those little pieces of gold right there. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna add some nitric acid. Like I said, just maybe one milliliter, very minimal amount. All right, we got one, a little over a milliliter. Let's get rid of some of that. We got, there we go. And that will be plenty to dissolve the gold that we have there. All right, we'll pop you into a time lapse. All right, we've got our stainless chloride solution done over here. This is the next morning, and we've got our gold bearing solution. There's a couple tiny little flakes of gold, but for all of our intensive purposes, we're gonna continue along here. All right, so I'm gonna put the stainless chloride here in this little dropper bottle, and we're gonna test this gold bearing solution a couple different times. What we'll do is we'll test it before we drop the gold, and the idea is after we drop the gold, we need to use the stannous chloride to make sure we have all of the gold precipitated out of solution before we start pouring it off. All right, let's get to it. Thank you. 
Okay. Alright, we got our dropper bottle full. Okay, now let's take a piece of paper towel, otherwise known as filter paper. <laughs> We're going to dip it in our gold bearing solution. Get some of that on there, and then what we want to see is a black stain with the application of this stainless chloride. And there we have it, a nice black stain. Looks good. Alright, now let's drop the gold and see if it works to so make sure we got a gold, all the gold out. All right, let's go ahead and drop the gold out of this solution using sodium metabisulfite, AKA stump out. All right, let's go ahead and test the solution. Got her dipped. We want to see no color. Nothing. Perfect. All right, and there are our two test strips. There's our gold solution and our stannous chloride. Hope you guys enjoyed this one.